Hello and welcome. My name is Sunshine, the project manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'm going to show you how to produce large quantity of product, say liquid soap. Now, if you're new to this channel, you may consider subscribing so that you can gain instant access to our videos each time we upload them. Now, some of our viewers and subscribers complain that most of our productions are in small quantities of product. Now, they ask questions like what happens if one want to produce large quantity of product? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to extrapolate quantities of materials. We're going to use um, liquid soap production as a case study here. So if you've been watching our videos on how to produce liquid soap, to produce 10 liters of liquid soap, you will need the following materials and quantities. All right, now let's go to the content of this table. Well, as you can see in column A, we have all the chemicals needed to produce liquid soap. Now, these are nitrosol, caustic soda, soda ash, STPP, SLS, sulfonic acid, foaming booster, color, perfume, and preservative. Now, if you go to column B, column B tells you the quantity of each of the materials that you need to be able to produce 10 liters of liquid soap. Now at the top, you will see the total volume of production. For example, in column B, for you to be able to produce 10 liters of liquid soap, you will need 50 gram of nitrosol, 40 gram of caustic soda, 200 gram of soda ash, 60 gram of STPP, 50 gram of SLS, half liter of sulfonic acid, half liter of foaming booster, 2 tablespoons of color, 20 ml of perfume and 20 ml of preservative. This is what you need. You need this amount of materials for you to be able to produce 10 liters of liquid soap. Now, what do you do if you want to produce 20 liters of liquid soap? Now, if you want to produce 20 liters of liquid soap, all you would do is to multiply the quantities of materials that you have in column B by 2. Okay, for example, if I want to produce 20 liters of liquid soap, all I will do is to multiply nitrosol, which is 50 gram, by 2, and I will get 100 gram. I will do the same thing to caustic soda. To produce 10 liters of liquid soap, I need 40 gram of caustic soda. But if I want to produce 20 liters of liquid soap, I will have to multiply this 40 by 2, and that will give me 80 gram of caustic soda. Now, to produce 20 liters of liquid soap, you will need 400 gram of soda ash. And that's because I'm going to multiply this 200 here by 2 to give me 400. So, STPP, I'll multiply 60 gram by 2 to give me 120. Now, SLS, I'll do the same thing. Multiply 50 gram by 2 to give you 100. Now, sulfonic acid, you do the same thing. Half a liter times 2 will give you 1 liter. Forming booster, half a liter times two gives you one liter. Color, if I have to produce 10 liters of liquid soap, I need two tablespoons. Then if I have to produce 20 liters, I will need four tablespoons. The same way perfume, I will need 40 ml to produce 20 liters of liquid soap. Likewise, preservative, I will need 40 ml to produce 20 liters of liquid soap. Now the same thing goes with if you want to produce 30 liters of liquid soap. If I want to produce 30 liters of liquid soap, all I will do is to multiply the quantities of column B by 3. Okay? To produce 30 liters of liquid soap, I will need 50 times 3 gram of nitrosol, and that is 150 gram. To produce 30 liters of liquid soap, I will need 40 times 3 gram of caustic soda that will give me 120. To produce 30 liters of liquid soap, I will need 200 times 3 gram of soda ash to give me 600 gram. So do this for all the materials and then you arrive at all the quantities we got in column D. Now in column E, we have 40 liter production. I want to produce 40 liters of liquid soap. What do I do? All I have to do is to multiply all the quantities in column B by 4. For example, nitrosol, I will need 50 times 4. That will give me 200 gram of nitrosol. So in the same way, if I want to produce 40 liters of liquid soap, 
I need 40 times 4 gram of caustic soda and that will give me 160 gram. For soda ash, I'll multiply 200 by 4 and that will give me 800 gram of soda ash. For STPP, I'll do the same thing. 60 times 4, that will give me 240 gram of STPP if I need to produce 40 liter of liquid soap. So basically, this is what you do if you want to produce a large volume of materials. This can also be applied to Detol, Isal, Vaseline, Toilet Wash, and all other products that we have on our channel. So if you want to produce large quantity of material, say in commercial quantity, all you're going to do is to take the templates of quantities of materials that we've given you and extrapolate it to the volume that you want. A multiple of two, it could be multiple of two or three or four or five or six or seven as the case may be. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Sunshine Resources SRTV. You can also follow us on our Facebook page on Sunshine Resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.